So because there's so many different tones you can get out of this guitar, I thought I'd separate this out into two different videos. First one will be just a comparison of the actual appearance and the case that now, now actually a gig bag that comes with the guitar. And then, like I say, on the second one we'll do some t tones. And I take grief for not being able to play like BB King, so whatever. Yeah, I'll get over it. I don't really care. I enjoy my I enjoy my time with the guitars. Anyway, this is the case that comes with the 2021 Epiphone Lucille. And this right here is a case that was purchased when the 20, I believe 2019 Epiphone Lucille was sent. Now let's see. 2018. This is a 2018 Epiphone Lucille. And it is in a case that is period correct for that 2018 model. Over here we have the 2021 model that I think is superior and I'll tell you right off the bat one of the things I like better is the binding that is not aged I immediately think that's a better looking guitar in my opinion but I'll get them up on the stand so we can put them next to each other and get a better look. So here they are side by side. The one on the right has a rosewood fingerboard. One left has ebony. So that's a huge difference in appearance already. The, do, the new headstock, which I've I guess they call it Kalamazoo headstock. I'm not really sure what they call that new headstock. I think it's a much better looking headstock than the old headstock. This binding is the same kind of fall aged binding that you see on the Joe Bonamassa Black Beauty. This one is the normal style, just plain white binding. And I like it enormously better than I like the yellowy stuff. I also like that the Lucille is actually white and not aged looking. I just think that's a better look for this guitar. Plus the keystones, which we'll look at the back on in a minute. I just think they look better than those grower looking tuners. Looking at the backs, if it wasn't for the binding, you might not be able to tell them apart. Similar shape, all the same appointments, basically. Even the strap buttons look pretty much the same. When you go up that headstock, though, The keystones versus the little, what are those, kidney bean or whatever, whatever they are. I just like the keystones better. I think it's a classier look. But you might like the other ones better. One thing I did notice is 
on the new one, here's the old model. For people that don't know which, uh, you know, output to plug into for it, and then also right here, that's the old style hookup. Now, the E, the Epiphone E, kind of looks good right there. I'm not saying that I think it needs to be there. I think it looks classy, but... See, here's what I was talking about here, too. That's different than this. And I'm not sure if that's a Gibson appointment or if that's something that Epiphone came up for with for this guitar. If that's a classic deal. Somebody should let us know. But you can see that the jack plate does not have any kind... There's actually no jack plate on this guitar. It just has the washers to hold it in place. So, I don't know which one of those is Gibson. If that's something that Gibson did or if that's something that was specific to the Epiphone. Both share the same style of Actually, the bridge is different. This one has the screw adjust. And this one does not. So, upgrade on the bridge. Looks like that's, I guess that's a TP6 tailpiece. So those are pretty much the same. Speed knobs the same. Veritone switches. The, the newer one might be a slightly le lighter hue, probably something to do with the aged versus non-aged look, but Hey, that rosewood fingerboard that was on this guitar always made me feel like it was really light. So I'm happy to see them swapping to ebony. I think it is significantly more aesthetically pleasing. So anyway, there's the two guitars next to each other. And like I say, I'll break into playing them in the next video. But I thought I'd just put these up against each other side by side to show the difference. The little bit, just two, well, I guess this is three years apart from each other. So three years difference in these two. And you can see what a change Epiphone's gone through. Till next time.